Welcome into NBA Now. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Let's get into a live mailbag now. So use hashtag NBA or Super Chat to get your questions on the show. If you Super Chat, you can jump the line. Apple Products, what is Dennis Schroeder's situation? Any teams interested? Jake Fisher of Bleacher Report uh, threw the idea out there that uh, the Celtics flirted with him. He reported that, but a deal is unlikely at this point. Certainly that can change. It's been quiet otherwise. Uh, he ain't re-signing with the Lakers. He's not getting the $100 million he was hoping for. Um, I'm sure teams are interested. The question is, how interested is he in the market that's available? That's, uh, I think he's going to be severely disappointed. Mo Yum Out. This feels like a plant. Do you think the Warriors could trade for Ben Simmons? They can, yeah. I mean, the question is, do they have an offer that the Sixers will accept? Would Philadelphia take like two first-round picks, Andrew Wiggins or Draymond Green, and uh, James Wiseman? Does that get you Ben Simmons? That's about what the Sixers or Warriors can do. They could probably throw you one of those rookies too, Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, uh, to try and pull that off. Uh, it's going to cost a lot. I think they are one of the few teams that could do it, though. The King with the $5 Super Chat. Appreciate that. I hope the Pelicans move to Seattle. Uh, couldn't tell by that Abby there. And the Kings move to Vancouver. Imagine how long the arenas would be if they fought a Northwest opponent. That'd be interesting. Uh, Sacramento did build a new state-of-the-art uh, uh, facility like five years ago, so they have a brand-new arena. Uh, Smoothie King Center ain't cutting it, though, so I, I kind of hear you on that uh, for New Orleans. Let's get hoops back in Seattle. I would actually say Seattle and Vegas, though. Let's get bas basketball to Vegas. That would be absolutely lit. Idiot Taco, what if Kawhi goes to the Nets? Is the league over 65-plus wins? They have no – they can't pay Kawhi. Unless they – I guess they could trade Harden or Kyrie, but I don't think that's happening. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they got Kawhi, then, yeah, that's the best team in the world. I don't think there's any question about that. Another super chat uh, from Captain Chaos. Cheers uh, to all you guys super chatting. Hornets preparing your uh, the offer sheet for Laurie Markin, and what are your thoughts? Press that like button, people. Yeah, 900 likes. We'll take another shot. Um, and we're at 775 on our live show. Um, my thoughts are interesting. I think it's a good idea for Charlotte. They're they're a team on the rise. Markin's a young player. I love the pick and pop game potential with him and uh, Lon or uh, LaMelo Ball, I should say. That's very interesting. Uh, Sham Sharani is reporting that they could sign him to an offer sheet. Uh, we will see what happens. Uh, stay tuned. Depending on when you're watching this, this may have already happened. Uh, Carlito Boy, is Raptors waving Baines good? It's fine. Aaron Baines is a backup big. Like, it's, you know, he's not the difference in making the playoffs or missing it. I'll tell you that much. Um, look, the Raptors are entering, entering a rebuild of some sorts, at least a little bit. Aaron Baines is getting older. Keeping him doesn't really do much for you. But I think a veteran team could utilize him off the bench. Corey Naylor, Ben is going to be traded to the Spurs. I think, I think, do you agree? I think they're a team in the mix. I think the Spurs, Warriors, and Blazers make the most sense financially at this point. Uh, they've got the most financial uh, flexibility and the assets, uh, at least uh, the Warriors on from an asset standpoint. And the Blazers have Dame and CJ that they could ship out. So, yeah, I mean, I think the Spurs are in the mix. They've been good with uh, international players in the past. Uh, and I think Greg Popovich uh, could help, uh, you know, help him take a step back and just, you know, reset his career a little bit. Which team has lost NBA free agency up to this point? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Which team has lost NBA free agency uh, as we are several days in now? Nabasha, what other moves should the Warriors make during free agency? Um, I think Kelly Oubre is a big question. What do you do with him? Uh, do you resign him? Do you let him go? Uh, depending on when you watch this, he may already be gone, uh, but he's available as we're filming this. Um... Do you try to make a trade for Ben Simmons? Do you see if Damian Lillard's available? It's been quiet. There's no doubt. They definitely need to add a couple pieces. I like the small moves they have made. I like Otto Porter. Uh, I like Nemanja Bialica as two bench players, but uh, obviously he took care of Steph Curry. Otherwise, yeah, it's it's been quiet, and I would like to bring more uh, uh, bench scoring if I was Golden State. Chase Clemens, do you think the Miami Heat will sign anyone else in free agency today? I mean, you can't rule it out. They've signed damn near everybody at this point. 
it feels like they're pretty much done. Uh, I don't know if their roster is maxed out in terms of bodies. Uh, I would imagine they're pretty close, though. So uh, we shall see if they add any more players in NBA free agency. But I love what they have done up to this point. Valid jump. Chances on the Celtics making any more trades or signings. Um, what are the chances? Um, I mean, I think Marcus Smart could still get traded. I don't think Jalen Brown will get traded. I think they definitely will sign more players. They've got to add to their roster at some point. Uh, but uh, it's been quiet. Uh, you know, Brad Stevens, the microscope is on him. He's shifted into Danny Ainge's role. And so far, he's traded for Josh Richardson, traded away Tristan Thompson, and signed in as Cantor. That's about it. So it's been pretty quiet. Pokemon X, is are the Nets going to do anything else? Um, I think they'll add some vet pieces. I really hate them losing Jeff Green. I think that's one of the most underrated moves by the Denver Nuggets throughout free agency, getting him for two years and $10 million. Uh, I'd like to get some more bench scoring. Watch out for LaMarcus Aldridge there. Maybe he is uh, goes to Brooklyn and finishes what he started before he had to retire. Um, but... You know, they don't have much money, so it'll be minor stuff if they do any more moves. T4K Smith, does Gary Harris stay in Orlando? Um, I think for now. He's a young player. Orlando's rebuilding, obviously. Uh, 3 and D type of guy. Uh, I think he can maybe unleash his offense a little more in Orlando. Should get more opportunities to score there. He's always been a good defensive player. I think for now, he will stay. He could be a trade deadline type of guy. Uh, to move uh, during the season next year. Next is Volt. Do you think Isaiah Thomas will get picked up by anyone? There's been some chatter around a return to the Celtics. I think someone will at least bring him to a training camp. He's been balling out in the Drew League, but that's like a pickup league, you know. I'm not saying I can play in it, but, you know, uh, it's mostly non-NBA guys that play in those. Sure, he's dropping 60, which is impressive, but we haven't seen him be effective on an NBA court in quite a while. So I think he'll get into a training camp. I think he deserves a chance, but non-guaranteed minimum contract. It'll be something like that. Make sure you subscribe to Chat Sports because uh, we keep bringing the heat during NBA free agency. 2,000 people watching live. Appreciate you guys very much. Hit that subscribe button. Share that link below with a friend. It's youtube.com slash TV. The Chosen One. What else can you think the Suns will do? Any uh, names you can drop? I mean, they re-signed Frank Kaminsky on Thursday, so that's kind of one of the later moves they've made. Gosh, I'm trying to think of the bigger names that could make sense. How about like a cheaper one? How about like a Wes Matthews? You get a 3 and D guy off the bench, that could make some sense. They've gotten their backup big situation handled with JaVale and Kaminsky. You brought campaign back. They're pretty set. I don't see them doing much more. Roy Prendergrass. Uh, Dwayne Wade comes out of retirement to the Lakers for the Banana Boat Squad. Who says no? Go check out our Lakers channel, youtube.com slash Lakers TV. In all seriousness, that's not going to happen. Wout 59, will Miles Turner finally get traded by the Pacers? Uh, I think it's at least a 50-50 chance. We'll see what Rick Carlisle, how he feels about Turner. The, the chatter for years is him and Sabonis don't really make sense together. Maybe Carlisle can make that work. I like both those players. I like Sabonis more, though. He's an all-star. Uh, I think a lot of teams would have interest in Turner if he hit the open market. Rick Camp, should the Sixers go after Reggie Jackson? I would love Reggie Jackson in Philly. That'd be nice, man. Uh, if you're a Sixers fan, go check out our 76ers channel, chatsports.com slash 76ers TV. It comes down to money, though. They don't have a ton of room to work with. Big contracts uh, for Simmons right now, Embiid, and Tobias Harris. Obviously, if they trade Ben, that frees up money. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I would, I would like Reggie Jackson in Philadelphia. I would like him pretty much anywhere. Which team won NBA free agency up to this point? Let us know. We asked you who lost. Let us know who won NBA free agency. Get your votes in right now down in the comments section, and then we'll answer a couple more of your questions. C. DeLuca, by the way, super chat, and you can skip the line. Ben Simmons in a 2022 second-round pick to the Pacers for Malcolm Brogdon, Justin Holiday, 2022 first, 2025 first. A second in Simmons for Brogdon, Holiday, and two firsts. Don't hate it. 
I think the Sixers could do a little better, but that's not bad. I like Malcolm Brogdon. If he didn't have an injury history, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. But he gets injured quite a bit, so that would make me hesitate just a little bit. Eduardo David, how about Hayward to Oubre in a sign-in trade? So Hayward to Golden State and Kelly Oubre to Charlotte. I'd be fine with that. The Sixers get a uh, – or the Warriors, excuse me, get a – a uh, proven vet, and Ubre goes to a young up-and-coming team in Charlotte where he could have a bigger role. So, sure, I think that I think that could be interesting. Andrew Barroso, do the Lakers add J.J. Redick? I mean, they've been busy. I think that would make some sense. I'd like to see it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, let's do it. Do the Lakers add J.J. Redick? Why not? Oh, boy, $30 super chat. Better get the fireball out. Take that shot and give respect to Ice Trey. When have I disrespected him? Here's to Trey, the conference finals, and $200 million from Big Rich. All right, Rich. Oh, man, over poor. There you go. By the way, we're 79 likes away from 900, and then I'll take another shot. Shout out to Rich Weatherford. Saba Gaming, will the Bulls get Paul Millsap? That'd be a nice way to kind of round out free agency if you're Chicago. Get a vet in Millsap that can come off the bench. He can score. He can shoot the three. Great, versatile defender. Let's do it, man. I love what the Bulls have done uh, so far in NBA free agency. Isaiah Mickles with the $5 super. Cheers up. Anything else Denver can do to help the MVP win a championship? Um, Listen, I like the addition of um, Jeff Green. You bring back um, Will Barton. You're kind of cap-strapped. You need Jamal Murray to get back and healthy before the playoffs. Uh, I think they could be a team to watch out for before the trade deadline. See uh, if Murray's back by then. See if they could do anything. You need Michael Porter to continue to improve. But uh, I, I, I think that they're in pretty good shape to make a run next year. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, at HGramNFL. I'm not just an NFL guy. That's just my Twitter handle. I talk a lot of NBA hoops like you guys have probably noticed throughout this week, throughout free agency, the draft as well. At HGram NFL, get at me on Twitter. Give me a follow. We can talk some hoops over there. TJ, Ben Simmons to the Mavs, is that possible? It's possible. Does it make sense? No, because Simmons is most effective with the ball in his hands, and that's Luka Doncic. The Mavs need a secondary playmaker, but Simmons is a primary playmaker. That's that's not what you need if you're Dallas. Unless you think you can make him a cent, like a, an effective center or something like that, it doesn't really make sense. Amanda Murray, Ben Toby, and uh, or, oh, uh, Ben Simmons, Tobias Harris, and a second round pick for Dame. I don't think the, I think this. I think Portland says no. They don't want Tobias Harris's thirty six million per, uh, and and just a second round pick for Dame on top of that. I I don't think that's enough. YVNG should the Warriors sign and trade Kelly Oubre in a future pick for Buddy Heald? I, I saw it on Google from the NBA Analysis Network. Let me tell you something. And how do I say this in the proper way? NBA Analysis has bad NBA Analysis. That's pretty much how that goes. Shout out Evan Massey. Bigger shout out to Kelly Oubre. Flicks hits. Ben Simmons going to the Minnesota Timberwolves. I wouldn't mind it. I, I think that could be interesting. Who? What's coming back in the trade? I mean, are you, I don't think I'm trading Anthony Edwards. Is it gonna? Are you gonna trade Cat? Are you gonna trade, you know, um, a guy like uh, D- D'Angelo Russell? I know Jarrett Culver's on the trade block, but he can't be the primary fixture in a deal for Ben Simmons. They've got assets to do it. There's no doubt. It's just whether or not. A, the Sixers want any of those assets, and B, those at moving those assets make more sense uh, uh, to move to get Ben Simmons. Minnesota would have to decide that. Oh, Rich is back. Who should Atlanta pick up from remaining free agents to improve their position? Uh, I'd like to get more defense on that roster. I think a bench guy like Wes Matthews, they brought back Lou Williams, which is nice. Um, they need more defense. They've got the offense. They can score with anybody, but they need to be able to get stops when they have to. That's the next step for the Hawks is uh, getting some nice defensive players. Obviously, getting DeAndre Hunter back next season uh, healthy should help quite a bit. 